talking about the desert, most people will have a desolate, dry, lifeless scene in their minds, as if it is a forbidden area of life, where even birds are unwilling to leave traces, let alone any green plants. But can you imagine that in this desert where life is difficult to survive, potatoes and other vegetables can thrive? This sounds like a beautiful myth, but this is exactly the miracle created by Chinese scientists. In China's Mua Sandy Land and Kubuki Desert, scientists have grown 1 million kilograms of potatoes through wisdom and hard work. This is not only a major leap in agricultural technology, but also a subversion of traditional desert management methods. Using cutting-edge technology, they adjusted the soil ratio, water management, and lighting in the special environment of the desert to create a miracle of potato growth. So, what kind of technology can make deserts become rich places? As the most populous country in the world, China's population continues to rise steadily. Although the Chinese government has made great efforts to control population growth in recent years, as of April 2024, China's population has exceeded the staggering 1.4 billion mark. According to statistics, in order to feed this huge population, China needs to consume up to 300 million tons of grain every year. But what is worrying is that compared with the huge population, China's cultivated land area appears limited. If population growth continues unchecked, China's food problem may gradually evolve into serious national security and stability risks. It is worth noting that China has a desert area of 700,000 square kilometers. If these areas can be developed for farming, it will form an important support for the country's food security. As far as I know, the places where China wants to grow food in the desert are the Muas Desert and the Kubuki Desert. In the last century, China began to address the desertification problem of the Muas Desert. According to the investigation, Shangxi has long had the wise practice of introducing floods into farmland. This not only protects the safety of residents, but also makes the land more fertile. Now, this strategy has been innovatively applied to the Mua Sandy Land, where by carefully directing floodwaters, scientists are bringing life to this formerly barren land. To maintain this achievement and prevent soil erosion, the scientists next planted large areas of windbreaks. These forest belts are like strong barriers, protecting this newly vitalized land. According to statistics, the total area of Mua Sandy Land reaches 42,200 square kilometers, nearly half of which is covered by the jurisdiction of Yulin City. After decades of unremitting efforts, local sand control work has achieved remarkable results, with the control area accounting for nearly 94% of the total area. This not only means that desertification has been effectively controlled, but also that this land has been reborn. So, how to maximize the value of this revitalized land? The answer is to grow potatoes. Potatoes, a crop that is drought tolerant and adapted to sandy soil, not only grow vigorously here, but also have high yields. In 2019, China launched a potato planting experiment in the Yusa Desert, covering an area of 100 acres. In the initial stage, the poor soil, scarce water resources, and huge temperature differences between day and night in the desert all brought huge challenges to the growth of potatoes. Faced with these problems, Chinese scientists have developed a series of effective methods for soil improvement and water-saving irrigation through in-depth research on the ecological characteristics of the desert. In addition, they introduced advanced agricultural technology and carefully managed the growth of potatoes to ensure their healthy growth in the desert environment. After more than two years of hard work, the potatoes in the experimental fields are growing vigorously, and the yield per mu will reach an astonishing 200 kilograms in 2021. Now, what was once a desert has been transformed into lush potato fields. Not only has it brought new vitality to this land, but it has also brought considerable economic benefits. Someone may ask, it does not seem surprising that the Muas Desert, which has been managed for a long time, 
naturally has the conditions for growing potatoes. So, what is the secret for scientists to successfully grow potatoes in the Kubuki Desert? Kubuki Desert is the seventh largest desert in China, with a total area of 13,900 square kilometers. In this vast sand sea, active sand dunes occupy more than 60% of the area. What's even more challenging is that the winds in the Kubuki Desert are extremely strong. On average, for more than 20 days a year, strong winds sweep through the desert like visitors. In such a severe natural environment, Chinese scientists have adopted an innovative measure, using water from the Yellow River for desert control. But the porous nature of sand makes moisture retention a technical problem. In response to this problem, Chinese scientists conducted more than 300 experiments and repeated trial and error, and finally developed an efficient soil amendment. In order to maintain moisture in the desert, the mixed use of arsenic sandstone and sand became their new solution. The implementation of this strategy has resulted in the formation of a stable water gathering area in the desert, instead of allowing precious water resources to be lost in vain. In order to verify the effectiveness of this technology, scientists conducted a series of plant planting experiments in the Kubuki Desert, and licorice was one of them. After careful cultivation, these plants took root in the desert and eventually thrived. With the lush vegetation, not only the fertility of the land has been improved, but water resources have also become more abundant. On this basis, China launched a potato planting industrialization project covering an area of 2,500 acres in the Kubuki Desert in 2022. In the early days, potato seeds in the Muas Desert were unable to take root and germinate in the Kubuki environment. But Chinese scientists have not given up. They continue to adjust planting plans and develop new varieties. After more than 200 efforts and adjustments, by 2024, potatoes not only grew successfully, but also produced more potatoes per mu than those grown in the Muas Desert. The yield per mu reached 380 kilograms and the total output reached 1 million kilograms. This achievement not only broke the record of desert cultivation, but also proved to the world the outstanding capabilities of Chinese scientists in desert management and agricultural technology. As we all know, the fruits in Torpan, Xinjiang, China, are famous for their unique sweetness. This is due to the local special climate conditions with a huge temperature difference between day and night and long sunshine hours. This natural environment has given birth to the unparalleled quality of fruits and melons, which is endlessly memorable. In the Muas Desert and Kubuki Desert in northern China, the vast sandy land also enjoys the natural advantages of large temperature differences between day and night and ample sunshine. In this climate, carefully cultivated desert potatoes not only grow vigorously, but also have excellent quality. Compared with potatoes from other regions, desert potatoes are superior in taste, deliciousness, and nutrition. Therefore, potatoes grown in China's desert areas not only greatly meet the needs of the country's growing population, but these delicious potatoes have also become an important source of foreign exchange earnings.